this is a film it's about dreams but also limited horizons it really is and here you have these four wonderful aspirational kids mm -hmm. in the middle of nowhere and what they were able to do and achieve particularly at this competition is I think just a signal of the extraordinary human capital that we have here in America where we might not think about looking for and you know American companies are in desperate need of engineers of mathematicians of scientists and these are the kind of kinds of kids that can really propel our country forward Luis you guys went to a 10-year reunion with the then kids from MIT what was it like to see them 10 years later and compare what they have achieved in their opportunities with your own? Uh, it's different because, I mean, we, we were in high school when we started competing. They were already in college. Uh, they had their, their plan already made out pretty much. Uh, we were just trying to figure out what our next move was going to be. Uh, so it, it was a little different for us. And that next move, and many of those next moves have been difficult. Kristen, you finished second overall at, at Carl Hayden High School and started at Arizona State with financial assistance, but this was all revoked. There were big changes along the way. Yeah, one year into uh, my attempt to get a bachelor's degree in mechanical engineering at ASU, my scholarship, well, my presidential scholarship was revoked due to Prop 300, which bans a lot of the public services from Arizona from being allowed to be used by undocumented students, primarily me. Hmm. Hey, Mary, case. you went back, and you, you know, you showed this documentary to uh, many places, but you showed it to some college kids now, <laughs> and they said they were uncomfortable by the reunion seat, where you see where these MIT kids have all gone on to big things, and how, you know, the kids from the high school have really struggled. Right, and it's funny, because they said, you know, would you consider taking that out of the film? I feel very uncomfortable. And my response was, good, I hope you feel uncomfortable because maybe you can help change the situation, right? Mm. I mean, here you have kids that their starting line is further back, but kids, you know, kids all over the country that are just like these young men are lining up and they're ready to go. And so the question is, how do we capture those hearts and minds when they can contribute so much? Well, you see the film, it you know, begs to be this David versus Goliath and right. this big success story. And I'm not saying that you know, these guys aren't successful. You know, they're, they're here and we're happy to have them here. But you look at the guys from MIT and right. you know, right. there's a difference. The, the real story here, John, though, is what these young men did for their community. Um, they have spawned a whole new generation of students pursuing engineering, mm -hmm. some of whom are at Stanford today. I mean, that's really exciting. And so you see yeah. this stream of kids. And what they also did is they planted the seed of hope that something, life was still going to be hard. There's extraordinary poverty, but something different could be, could happen. And that's a measure of success that, you know, you, you can't compare. And, you know, and I cents. think these young men, um, Luis and Christian, have no idea about the profound effect that they've had mm. on this community. Um, and uh, it's really extraordinary. Luis, let me ask you quickly, when you look at what's going on at the border right now, obviously the country facing a major issue, a crisis at the border, what do you make of it? I mean, it's, it's, mm, it's not a, a thing that should be happening, but I mean, there's not much I, I can do about it personally, so I really don't know much of the, the situation for most of the kids there. I mean, my situation was a little different than theirs, so I'm not Christian? too sure what, what the plan would be. Christian, any message for those kids? Uh, yeah, regardless of where you are in the world, if you have hope, you have to keep it because that's the last thing you have.